Hi, it's Gary from KDX Electronics. Today we'll be going through and setting up a C code for whatever battery you want to test. For this demonstration, we'll be using the smart cables. Uh, you can check our website for pricing and availability. And we'll be programming a C code for the, uh, this SLA battery. When you receive your adapter, especially this one, uh, there's no C codes programmed into it because it's very generic. So once you insert it into your analyzer, uh, it'll show you null code because nothing's programmed. Uh, to program this adapter, press the station that the battery is on and hit the edit key. And the first option will show up as the program. You can modify the test program on the spot or when you hook up the battery to it. Uh, the next category is your target capacity. If it tests the battery and it finds that it's 80% or greater, it'll pass it. If it's less than that, it'll fail it. The next is the chemistry type, and you can select from a different uh, number of chemistry types. Uh, for this particular battery, it's a seal lead acid, uh, SLA. And next category is the voltage of the battery. Uh, this battery is a 12 volt battery. And the milliamp power is 7,000. And this is based on the 20 hour discharge rate. So you need to keep that in mind when you modify the extended C code. So once all this is set, uh, hit the right arrow key and it'll give you two options to either save it with the default extended C code or press the right arrow key to edit it. And for this particular battery, we actually do need to modify it. So once you hit the right arrow key, you'll notice that you are presented with the charge and discharge rates. For this battery, we actually need to reduce the charge rates down to 0.25 and the discharge rate down to 0.05. On the next screen, it will show you a temperature window and as long as the battery stays within this window, it will continue testing the battery. If it goes either too low or too high, it will either go into a cold weight or a hot weight. The next window shows you a standby voltage, which is kind of like a trickle charge or a maintenance voltage. Uh, and the next one is the max charge voltage. Uh, I believe the standby voltage the way it is, but for this particular battery, we need to modify the max charge up to 2.45. Uh, the end of charge termination point for this battery is actually at 0.07. And we could leave the end of discharge the way it is, 1.75. All this information is on the battery specification sheet. So whenever you're creating a custom C code, uh, it's always recommended to go to the battery spec sheet for reference. So once that's set, press enter to save, enter again to confirm, and you're good to go. So now when you connect up the battery to the analyzer, so place the temperature sensor on the battery Hook up the positive, hook up the negative. Press enter to confirm, enter again to start. And this is how you set up a C code for your battery. Uh, you still need to define what type of test you want to do, auto, prime, charge, uh, but you have the core specifications programmed onto your adapter. And for more information, click on the catalog, click on our website, you can leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.